guys, so welcome back. My name is Bukumi Ikram. Thanks for clicking. So, Nicki Minaj follows Mufti Mek, and this is the reason why. Let's check it out. Assalamu alaikum once again, mashallah. Nicki Minaj. So, to be very honest, I did not know who she was a few years ago, but subhanallah, you know, I laughed at a joke when someone said. Minhaj is not on the Minhaj, you know, you know, you have people uh, playing drafts with the Minhaj, you know, and they say on the Minhaj, off the Minhaj, on the Minhaj, off the Minhaj. Obviously, it's not a game and it's not something to joke about. But you have people saying Minhaj, not on the Minhaj. And I'm thinking, what's going on? Anyway, I got to know later on. And subhanallah, she happens to be following a lot of people on Twitter, on Instagram and whatever else it is. She needs a life in, in the uh, entertainment industry she's not a Muslim woman uh, and at the same time she probably for some reason follows me now people are very inquisitive trust me you don't need to know you don't need to know uh, Alhamdulillah if someone wants to follow you or me or anyone in order to learn a thing or two not everyone who follows you agrees with you some people follow you because they disagree with you and they just want to see what you do. So foolish are those who think that when someone follows someone, they agree with everything they say or do. I've seen people from opposite countries who are at war with each other follow each other simply because they want to know from the horse's mouth what is being said and so on. So in this particular case, whatever the reason is, big deal, subhanallah. Uh, I'm happy and inshallah, I pray that it's a means of goodness for, for everyone and a means of guidance for one and all. Inshallah, why not? You know, we wish goodness for humanity at large. Uh, I have no authority over people. All I can do is present the goodness in a beautiful way. And if people are benefiting from it, I thank Allah. And if people are not benefiting from it, I'm sure they can benefit from others even more than they can benefit from me. I'm not the only guy on earth. And this is why if you don't want to follow, don't follow. You're supposed to be following qala Allahu wa qala Rasul. And not me in particular. I, if I were to guide you towards qala Allahu wa qala Rasul, alhamdulillah, it's a good thing. And if I, were, if I don't do that, then it's a bad thing. So sometimes I might word things in a different way, but if you, de if you study deeply, it's all the same. It's all from Allah and His Messenger. May peace be upon Him. So remember, my brothers and sisters, don't let curiosity kill the cat. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I do know a little bit of a fine detail, but sometimes, you know, let me explain. If you come to me with something, and you want help for something, or perhaps you need guidance on something, or you're getting guidance for something from me. Part of the professional side of a person should be that they don't discuss people's private issues with others, because that's when there is a big letdown. Religious personnel sometimes do that, and they discuss people's personal problems with others, and this is the reason why nobody trusts some of them. Now, for me, I wouldn't give you any detail if I know that you would know exactly who I'm talking about. I wouldn't. And this is why I say, don't worry, just make dua. It's been for a long time. I know that someone has just found out now. I knew since August last year, the end of July last year, when it, when it all happened, subhanallah. So alhamdulillah, may Allah guide one and all. I'm thinking to myself, people are passing so many comments. Some of them are good and some of them are nasty. You know, we're worried about the guidance of someone else when we're not worried about our own guidance. Yes, we should be worried about the guidance of all, but charity begins at home. Remember that. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu alaykum anfusakum la yadurrukum man dalla idha hdadaytum O you who believe, be concerned about yourselves. Those who are astray will not harm you. If you yourselves are rightly guided, subhanallah. So may Allah guide us all and may Allah bless everyone with goodness. I thought I'd spend a moment to tell you who's on the minhaj and who's not on the minhaj. <laughs> may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So who's on the minhaj? <laughs> wow, that was a beautiful message. Like, you use the opportunity to pass a great message out there. You don't have to be concerned about who is following you because the only difference between the celebrities and you know is is the title is the title that that differentiates them yes um Mufsimek is a public speaker why 
Minaj is a celebrity, she's a singer. So, like you said, something can actually warrant somebody to follow you. So, if somebody is following your social media, it's not really a big deal per se. So, some people is a big deal because it's like a life changing for them. It's like, woo, what, what? So, some of them, some people will even ask themselves, like, what did I do right for this person to actually follow me on this social, this platform, you know, this social platform? So it's just trying to let us know that we should not carry these things to our head too much. Like it's the impact we have on people that matters. If you are impacting into the person's life positively, and the person is the person maybe the person's life is higher than yours because person is celebrity and you you are just a neutral person, that doesn't mean you should you should carry their matter like they are God or they are one superior being. You get it? I think that's what the message is trying to pass that even if the man is following him, there's no big deal. And so what? It's not a big deal. It's not the first time somebody follow you. People like people will eat they are like you for who you are. They will either like you because of the message you're passing. Or some people might follow you to even they might not even like the message you're passing, but you just want to keep hearing what you want to say and you know people have their own reasons for you know be motivated to know more about people so that's why i said said you no know, that doesn't really matter but it's a thing is a good thing because you know aside from the spiritual aspects when a popular figure follows you you know it, it tends to make your social life much more interesting maybe for instance you have a brand and all of a sudden so this person start talking about you a celebrity start talking about you start following you before you know it, it to make your brand grow even much more faster bigger like i have a friend of mine that she's she's um she's she's a fashion design and she's still growing then she got connected to now she's close to one of these big um actress in in a country in one of this african country ghana so right now she got a a good business deal from Côte d'Ivoire. Somebody sent a, a, an outfit to her from Côte d'Ivoire to her so a traditional way. All because of the brand. Like, well, because she used a celebrity for a brand. Yes, it, 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 it works positively. But in spiritual aspects, there's no big deal in this fig, public figure following you. They are all human beings like we like us but this was beautiful to watch guys thank you so much for watching like there was a lot of wisdom in what you said and i really got a lot like i learned something from it and that's really up and i really enjoy watching thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye